Uh, just give me two minutes. I will be quick and um, just to report this economic cartel. Assalamu alaikum guys. Um, it's going to be a quick video. I have been reporting on the economic cartel, on the false footages. I've been reporting on the, uh, um, uh, the cocaine cartel, and I've been talking about the money laundering. Now evidence are coming out. People who were asking for the evidence is coming out. Let me give a little bit of perspective here. We have received report that the managing director of Gam Petroleum, Sehu Drame, is arrested. Is arrested. We have received report that Khadija Kebe of Kach, that's Ababaka Jawar of Kach, is presently uh, been interviewed at the Kairaba police station. Why this is important? I said the report that the missing fuel from Gum Petroleum went to Ababaka Jawara and something Jabi, Bajabi of uh, Kolkapi. Um, I mean, the I mean, petrol dealer. These are the cartels, and they are linked to President Barrow. I'll make something clear here. President Barrow has to be held accountable. These people can only be relevant in the country to the extent of having license to trade. He has created a cartel just as Yaya Jami created a cartel. Now, we want to understand what's going on. This is going to be brought under the carpet. I cannot, I can just do so much. To, to, to bring the threats here. The opposition need to investigate this and ask questions. Parliament need to ask questions. If not, they're going to brush this under the carpet. I don't know the MD. I'm not saying that the MD have no role to play. He have an absolute role to play. He's in charge. But the MD cannot do this alone. If the MD is found wanting, it's an allegation, he is arrested under allegations. If the MD is found wanting, then the MD cannot do it alone. And if Ababaka Jawara is involved, as for now, evidence are he's involved, because they have arrested a lady called Kadi Kebe, a daughter of um, daughter of Ahmed Kebe. And it's going to be interesting. Let's wait for more details. You will understand how that country is governed now. You would un understand the cartel, how the economic cartel is linked with the cocaine cartel. Now it's up to Gambians to demand this transparency. Our press are not going to do this for us. We expect the opposition at least to ask questions. What is happening with the self footage? Let them give you a plausible argument. The reports are, the reports are, the allegations again are, Ababaka Jawara is pointing fingers at a young lady called Khadija Kebe, who works for him, saying that he gave money to Khadija Kebe to pay uh, um, I mean, Gum Petroleum. The managing director is accused of not taking, accept the, uh, accepting the money. Now, why would a businessman pay cash for something worth millions, if it's not for money laundering. Where did Ababaka Jawara get the money to pay? If Ababaka Jawara have supplied a company, a uh, fuel, that company should pay Ababaka through the bank, and Ababaka should pay Gum Petroleum to the bank. But if Ababaka Jawara is saying that he gave cash to a young lady, a young lady, look, I am not saying something, um, it's not against the gender lady, 
But a young man or an individual, why give cash to an individual for that matter? To pay something worth millions and millions and millions of dollars. Is. This is money laundering. This is money laundering. They are taking bad money to put into our system. Where is Ababaka getting this money from? You think the investigation will be done right? I am said, I'm not fighting for Sehu. I don't know Sehu. That's why if, if people can follow, three days ago, I wrote that the senior executive arrested, then they did not arrest him. Let him spill the beans. Let him resign and spill the beans. Let Sehu Drame tell us what happened. If he... If he is involved, let him tell us and let him spill the beans. Baro would be involved. If Ababaka Jawara is involved, Baro is involved. This is where they get their money from. People who are doubting why Baro is so wealthy, it's corruption. That's why Baro is wealthy. It's kickback. That's why Baro is wealthy. People who are wondering why Ababaka Jawara is supporting Baro, doing everything to support Baro, building police station so that he will not be arrested. He can do whatever he wants. That's how the cartel works. The economic cartel is linked to the cocaine cartel. They need to wash that money. They need to launder that money. It's common sense. That's why the police are, are, are compromised for accepting police station be built for them and giving them in this thing about Jawara. Now, I had that dog. That dog called Samsidin Sar. I don't call people dog. Samson Dinsa wrote a note. He did dare not put my name. He said that the person who wrote, wrote the article put his name. He did not call my name. Let him call my name. Let Samson Dinsa call my name. So I am the one who wrote the article about the fuel, and he's trying to undermine my article, saying that I lied in that article. This, this, is, this is why we need to take Barrow out. All these dogs will bark for him to, to, to protect him for the corruption that's going on. I, I, I have my integrity to lie. What would I benefit from lying? They have something to benefit because they feed their families on lies. Now it's up to the political parties. If they want to look the other way, let them look the other way. The evidence is there. Sehu Drame is arrested. Uh, Kadi, Kadi, Kebe, Kadi, Kadi Jakebe, this daughter of uh, uh, um, Ahmed Kebe, businessman, is arrested or under interview. Ababaka, he, she works for Ababaka Jawara, catch. Ababaka Jawara said he paid money, gave money to, um, what do you call him? Gave money to Kadi, Kadi Jakebe, a lady that works for her, him. A lady that works for him to pay gun petroleum. Why would you give money for someone to pay? This is not $100, not $1,000, it's not $1 million. This is our millions and millions of dollars. Now that money is missing. Now the Gambians are suffering, our economy is suffering, the Gambian reputation is suffering because of Ababakar Jawara again involved in a dodgy deal. Ababakar started trading four months ago. Already he has bankrupted the, 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 the energy sector. Technically, this is bankrupting the energy sector. It's up to Gambians now to do the right thing. When I made my, uh, my statement, people thought it was a fabrication. Now let them tell us why they arrest the managing director. Adam Abaro government arresting the managing director is huge. Let them tell us why they uh, they interviewing interviewing um, Khadija Kebe. And I am telling Gambians, if we continue this investigation, the arrest of Khadija Kebe and that money that that Ad Ababakar Jawara said that he paid, he gave to Khadija Kebe to pay Gun Petroleum. That money should be found out. Where did Ababakar Jawara get that money from? The transactions will go to banks. If Ababa Kajawa have sold anything to Nawek, Nawek would pay, pay, pay him through the banks. Nawek cannot pay him cash. If Baba Kajawa pay, uh, sell petrol to any entity in this world, in this world, they will pay through a banking system. They will not pay him tax. These are millions of money, money laundering. Now, where does the money come from? That's dirty money. If he, if it is true that he gave Kadi Kebe, uh, Kadija Kebe, I'm not, I don't have Khadija Kebe's um, statement. If, if it's true that he gave millions of dollars to Khadija Kebe for Khadija Kebe to pay gum petroleum, and Khadija Kebe did not pay gum petroleum, then, 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 <laughs> then, then we have to ask where the money come from. We have to ask where the money come from.
Now, I cannot give leads on this, but people that know, now that Khadija Kebe is name, name, alleged, accused on a money laundering, yes, now let's follow the trail of money laundering if we do not find that money laundering to cocaine trade. That cocaine trade. Let's look at the relationships of these people. These are now the new elites we have in the Gambia. You see, this, this is what I'm saying. Um, Sirif Ndiaye, uh, an ordinary Gambian, is arrested, is in Maltu because of he works for, um, I mean, um, I mean, I mean, Bankaketa, ban, ban, Bantaketa, uh, Bantaketa, yeah, because he worked for Bantaketa. But other people now are alleged to be involved in drug trafficking, but nobody arrests them. They are alleged to involve in money laundering, nobody arrests them. We have to find where the money comes from. Guys, that, that's what it is now. Why am I coming out? This case is going to be killed. If the opposition did not speak about this case, if they did not follow accountability up to December, this case will be killed. They're going to kill this million. They will find a way of killing it off. Because of if the MD speaks, the MD, if he speaks, Kadi, Kadi, Kadi Kebe speaks, then it will be traced to Adam Abaro. Because of, if you trace anything to Ababaka Jawara, Adam Abaro is complicit. Ab Ababaka Jawara is giving kickbacks to Adam Abaro. Now it's up to Gambians to follow it. I, I have made my uh, um, investigations, I've been producing evidence, and, 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 and people cannot see it now. Ask the police why did they arrest these people and the findings. The parliament is not going to do it. Parliament is not going to do it. As I said, we have seen the weakness of parliament. Amadba is accused with, with documents and everything from the tourism uh, authority. I mean, workers, nothing came out of it. Parliament cannot still finish that investigation. What do you expect from this? The police are complicit because Ababa Kajawa is sponsoring the police. Now, this is why he was sponsoring the police. Now, it's up to us. It's up to us to go out there. If people think that it's opposition, that's why I'm saying this. I am not part of a political party. And this, this is why I keep on advancing this. This is one reason I don't want to subscribe to a political party. This is one of the reasons why I don't want to subscribe to a political party. Because of any statement you make, they say, oh, it's opposition. That's why I'm saying it. I am opposed to borrow, right? But I have my integrity. I will not lie about that. And the evidences are here. It's the same to cooking trade. When I first talked about cocaine trade and linking it to the uh, state, the people, and we thought, turned around to see the three, three tons, now we've seen two tons, and we've seen other things coming on the way. It's up to Gambians. If you want to believe I am not monetizing my information, I, I am not, not looking for anything, I'm not looking for that attention. But I am telling something inside. If he dares call my name, he might allude to, yeah, that guy lie about this trying to cover up. Let him be a dog and dog for Barrow. Samsi didn't start know who Suleiman Swale is, Ben Swale is. You know him personally, we know in the army. He's a crook, he's a liar, and he's a manipulator. Yeah, he dares not, he stands there trying to challenge my integrity. I don't attack people, I don't name people, but he, he dare on insinuate anything again and call my, or dare call my name. He wrote an article, he didn't call, quote my name. He just said, oh yeah, I saw the person who wrote it. Let Gambians write, ask themselves why. I know now he dare not, he was gonna call my name. Let him call my name. But why didn't he mention my name in that article? I, I mean, this, this is my reason. Continue empowering Barrow and see the country we're gonna have. Now, fuel is not in the country because the cartel stole the fuel. Thank you very much, guys, thank you.